With necromancy, a skill officially known as the worst for a hunter, a man became one of the five top rank hunters. However, he always receives harsh criticism from the public due to his life as a hunting dog for corporations. He was given a name for being able to live despite being taken out of the gates, unconscious due to a critical injury, and even living despite his entire team getting wiped out. He is known as the Immortal King, the one who never died. His name is Kang Teha. Even someone like him expected to not escape the wheels of death this time. This time, his opponent was Griffin, known as the strongest guild that he had previously been a member of. However, Kang Teha survived through six months of desperate battle. Today, he chose the headquarters of Griffin as his last battleground. A bunch of hunters were hunting Kang Teha. Because he has a 5 billion a gold bounty, dead or alive, when the hunters are about to stop Kang Teha, he manages to summon the Bone Dragon. They were surprised and terrified about his sudden summons. The Bone Dragon has blown up the building. Teha escaped the building with his Bone Dragon by flying away. He was tired because he used too much mana to summon the Bone Dragon. He noticed someone on the last floor of the building. It was Yu Jogyu, the Griffin Guildmaster. He was impressed by Kang's skills. When Teha is about to attack the Guildmaster, he noticed that he had been shot by a light arrow. The light arrow was actually a holy weapon, and it's a weakness of a bone dragon. When bone dragon was about to avoid the attack, it got shot by a holy weapon. Kang ordered his bone dragon to fly higher in the sky to escape it. Suddenly, the holy weapon pierced the head and other parts of the bone dragon. They fell to the ground. Kang was surrounded by the holy knights. The guild master told him to give up. But Kang asked him, has he ever seen him give up? The guild master replied by saying never. The guild master wants everything to go as he has planned. But Kang always exceeded his expectations. He always survives and becomes much stronger. And finally, he obtained that item and betrayed him. That's the reason why the entire guild was after him. The guild master ordered him to hand over that item to him. When Kang is about to hand it over to the guild master, he tricks him and swallows the item. The guild master was angry and ordered the knights to kill Kang. Kang was ready to fight till death. He tried his best to fight them, but he ended up dying. He was tired, but now he can finally rest in peace. Suddenly, he's been reincarnated into a different world. Kang was surprised that he had been reincarnated in the body of someone fat. In this world, he possessed the first young master, the fool of the Zhejiang Bikan clan. The previous owner of his body was a morally depraved person who was crazy over food, women, and drinks. He was thinking about how he ended up being reborn as the foolish guy. In ancient China, he remembered it must be because of the item that he has swallowed. He decided that he had to survive in this unknown place first. Kang Teha calls out the status window. The status window appeared and had a few errors because he was in a different world. The system started to fix the errors. His level has reset to the level 1. His abilities also got adjusted. He has no other choice but to accept it. From now on, he is Yu Xin Wu. After that someone burst into his room. He is Yu Jin Sang. Xin Wu's servant asked him nicely to leave. Because his master does not allow anyone inside. Jin Sang punched the servant in the face. Xin Wu went to his servant and helped him up. He even asked him who this is. Jin Sang is his half-brother. Jin Sang was mad at him because he had been ignored. Suddenly another person entered his room. He was Red Cloud's faction leader, Quack Woon San. Shin Woon remembered that his father had died of sickness and that the position of Lord was vacant. But the Red Cloud's faction leader called his half a brother by Lord because they had been ignoring him from the start. Shin Woon is wondering where these bastards come from. They even make fun of him when they leave his room. Shin Woon was pissed at them. He jumped and smacked his half-brother in the back. Woon San was surprised. He did not expect him at all. Jin Sang became mad at him. He's about to kill him with his sword. But he can't because he is his brother. Their fight has been heard by the public. They don't want others to know about their behavior. Two of them leave the room immediately. Suddenly, Shin Woon feels dizzy and remembers before he was reincarnated. His half-brother is the one who poisoned him and his father. Jin Sang always bullied him because he didn't know martial arts. He even kisses and sleeps with his fiancée. 
What a poor guy. Shin Woon regrets his action. He just whacked the back of his killer. Shin Woon asks his servant for the location of the place that has the most deaths from the bad guys. Is he wanting to commit suicide? He thinks that he might get a good life as the firstborn of the big family. But he just messes it up. After he arrived at his place, Jin Sang was angry at his brother. He was wondering whether to kill his brother again. Woon Sang calmed him down. And they were planning to kill Shin Woon again by using dark magic. Shin Woon went to a valley that was a former battlefield of a great war. That place has many graves of fallen warriors. It was the perfect place to practice his necromancy skills. Because it has a lot of strong spirits. He wanted to absorb all the spirits. But he could only take the white ones at his current level. Shin Woon began to absorb the energy from the spirit of the dead. In order to gain the energy, he has to suffer the pain effect of his skill. Shin Woon endures the pain because he already used to. He gained some experience after finishing it and leveled up. He also unlocked a few new skills and his status has been increased. Shin Woon was impressed by his skill. He starts to gather more mana in his body and unlocks the new skill Mana Heart. He always chose his heart to be his mana library instead of his brain. Other people always choose their brain to be their mental library. But a small mistake will affect their brain. Shin Woon started to summon the skeleton to test his capabilities. He can only summon it for a few seconds because he lacks mana. Before leaving he decided to extract all the spirits in that area. A couple of days later, when Shin Woon is about to go out, he realizes that the number of security guards has been increased around the house. It must be his half or brother who ordered them to watch him all the time. Shin Woon went to his room to look for any escape routes. When he tried to enter his room by the window, he saw someone else in his room. He used skill to enhance his physical ability and went to confront the intruder. It was his servant, named Wang Sam. Shin Woon asked Wang Sam why he was in his room. His servant asked him if he wanted to go out. Because he always saw Shin Woon leaving the room every night, Shin Woon is suspicious of his servant. Wang De Sam told him not to worry because he had not told anyone about it. He asked Shin Woon to follow him. They went to a shed, and Wang De Sam told his master that no one ever came to there. He opened the small hole and told his master that it was an escape route. He will not ask where Shin Woon is going. Shin Woon was suspicious of Wang Sam. He told his servant that he did not trust everyone but decided to trust him. Suddenly, Shin Woon used his skill against his servant to interrogate him. He realizes that Wang Sam is a good servant whom he can trust. Shin Woon deactivate his skill and use the escape routes right away. He went back to the valley to absorb the remaining spirits until he leveled up. To level 10, a few of his skills have been increased and he has gained a new skill. Shin Woon looks at the blue spirit. And he notices that the energy from the blue spirit almost feels similar to that of his half-brother and faction leader, Quack. He tried to absorb the blue spirit and upgrade his mana heart. After enduring the pain from it, he managed to absorb the blue spirit. Shin Woon was proud of his success. He tested his skill by summoning the skeleton warrior. Another powerful skeleton has been summoned by him. He ordered them to fight to see their skills. After seeing the results, he cancels the summons. Shin Woon decided to learn the martial arts. In the next morning, his servant told him that he could learn it by reading books in the library. While walking to the library, he hears people badmouthing him. When he arrives at the library, the guard asks him the reason for his visit and makes fun of him. Shin Woon ignore the guard and enter the library, but the guard stops him. He used his death stare to scare the guard and managed to enter the library. The guards were terrified of him and even peed in his pants. Meanwhile, at the Red Cloud Tower, Quack Woon Sen enters his secret basement to start the ritual of dark magic to kill Shin Woon. Shin Woon still finding the book that contains powerful martial arts. After eight hours, he has managed to gain a few martial arts skills. And suddenly he hears someone approaching him. It was a little girl, pushing the trolley full of books. Shin Woon asked her what was in all those books in that box. All they got was the damaged book. As an extra for purchasing other martial arts books, Shin Woon ordered the little girl to lead him to the place where they gathered all of that book. Shin Woon offers the little girl some snacks. If she manages to bring him a good martial arts book, he asks her to introduce herself. Her name is Dan So Yeon. 
So Yian bought him an unknown martial arts book. It was a jackpot for him. Shin Woon keeps his promise and will buy many snacks for her. After acquiring the powerful martial arts book, he went to his room to learn it. Suddenly, some kind of green energy came to him and tried to absorb him. Shin Woon was surprised by it. The green energy tried to flow into his body. It was a curse of death that had been sent to him by an unknown being. It must be from his half-brother. Shin Woon laughs in happiness because the energy from the curse of death is a blessing to a necromancer. Thanks to you Jin Sang's subordinate for sending a death curse. Shin Woon managed to upgrade his mana heart to the next level. Now he has a mana heart, sage key, and the art of flowing clouds. He tried to fusing it together, and he has gained some upgrade in his skill. He realizes that it was already morning. Suddenly his servant informed him that someone has come to see him. It was his fiance, Gia Miho, who just arrived at his place. When Gia Miho arrived, many people were impressed by her beauty. Suddenly someone got pushed and fell behind her. She helped him to stand up with such a good manners. But actually, she just pretends to be nice. Because she wanted to maintain her good reputation. At Beat the UK Clan Blue Cloud Hall, everyone starts gathering for a meeting with the Giam family. There are Eugene Sang and Kwak Woon San, White Cloud Faction Leader, White Beauty Blade Do Jin Woo, Clear Cloud Faction Leader, No Daeum, Clear Cloud Faction Vice Leader, No Gun Ho, Small Cloud Faction Leader, Mo Targil. Kwak Woon San offers to start the meeting, but their first master has not arrived yet. Suddenly the last person to enter the meeting was Shin Woon and his servant. Shin Woon brought his servant to sit with him in the meeting, because of that. The small cloud faction leader began to nag him. Shin Woon warned him. They began to discuss the matters. The Giam family wanted to end the scheduled commissions with them. The Giam family complained about the workers and their attitudes. The clear cloud faction leader was angry by that news. Suddenly, members of the Giam family have arrived at the meeting. When Shin Woon saw his fiancée, he got his memory back about her pretending to like him and seducing him to be in an engagement with her. She even betrayed him and had a secret relationship with Jin Sang. He saw something unusual in his memory. It's not the past. And it must be the future. He wanted to become stronger so he could learn more about his memory. Miho greets all of them. Jin Sang praised her beauty and she was pleased with him. They don't want to waste time and want to get straight to the point. They apologized and wanted to end their relationship with the Beak on clan. They even wanted to discuss the engagement between Shin Woon and Mi Ho. Shin Woon interfered with the conversation. He told them that he wanted to cancel his engagement with Mi Ho. They were surprised by his decision. The Giam family was angry with him. Shin Woon mentioned that his half or brother might know more about their disengagement. One of Giam's followers was pissed at him and used his skill to warn Shin Woon. Shin Woon doesn't even feel anything because he has mana. Suddenly, Jin Woo used his skill to counter him. He was scared of him. Jin Sang gave some suggestions to end their conflict. He suggests having a duel between the two sides. Jin Sang wanted to use this duel to let her brother die. Shin Woon stand up and walk through them. He accepts the duel. Many people were gathered to see the duel between Shin Woon and the Giam family. At the Beacon Clan Gymnasium. They wanted to stop the duel because Shin Woon could suffer a serious injury. Jin Woo told them not to worry because he would step in if things got serious. Even his servant pleaded with him to consider his actions. His fiancée started to act like a victim. Shin Woon praises her acting skills. Jin Woo explains the rules of the match. Black Bear started to pick Shin Woon's opponent. But Shin Woon ordered Black Bear to be his opponent. Black Bear was pissed at him and told him that his skills were too deferential to him. Shin Woon told him that he doesn't look that strong. The referee stopped their fight and began the match. His enemy starts with the first move by punching him at full force. Shin Woon easily avoided it. He even avoided all the rapid punches from the enemy. Black Bear ordered his underling to get serious. He breaks the rules and corners Shin Woon. He used martial arts to hit Shin Woon. He ended up breaking his own hand because Shin Woon used his defense skill. Everyone is arguing about their fight. The Giam family accepts their first defeat. Shin Woon has used his skill bone armor. Black Bear offered to fight Shin Woon by himself. 
It's dangerous for Shin Woon to take on Black Bear. But Shin Woon called Black Bear by Teddy Bear and accepted his challenge. Black Bear told Shin Woon that he would regret his decision. Everyone who says that always loses in the end. Black Bear activated his martial arts and attacked Shin Woon. He punched him non-stop, but Shin Woon avoided all of it. He even kicked him, but Shin Woon deflected all of the attack. Black Bear tried to punch him rapidly, but it's not even damage him at all. All of the watchers were amazed by his defense. Black Bear was pissed because Shin Woon always avoided all of his attacks. He tried to grab Shin Woon. In that moment, Shin Woon used his skill to attack Black Bear and punched him in the face. Black Bear fell down and rolled on the ground. It was an easy win for him. People were cheering for his victory. Black Bear feels humiliated by his defeat. He cannot accept it. He become rage up and dashes to Shin Woon to attack him. But Shin Woon was saved by Jin Woo. Black Bear has been knocked away from Shin Woon. He almost fell on top of Miho. Jin Woo ordered his guard to protect their first master. Miho reveals her true color by uttering abusive words to them. Dae is asking her to give Black Bear to them. Suddenly, someone appeared and killed Black Bear. It was the ghastly blood claw, Gu Nam Sang. He was the strongest in the Giam family. Even Jin Woo thinks he can't beat him in his current state. But he will try his best to protect the first master. Shin Woon told Jin Woo to take care of himself first. Nam Sang warned them that if they wanted to start the war, he would step in. Jin Sang calmed them down. Because if something happens to the Giam family, he will get into trouble. Shin Woon ordered them to let the Giam family go. Because he doesn't want to make things more complicated. He almost died. Yet he is so calm. When did he learn the martial arts? His followers were proud of him. When the Giam family was about to leave, Miho was still mad at him. Shin Woon activated one of his skills to follow them. Later that night, Jin Sang met the Giam family in a secret place. They discussed their plan that has been ruined. And they decided to kill Shin Woon with help from Jin Sang. After that, they leave the place. But all of their conversation has been recorded by Shin Woon. In his room, Shin Woon had a little talk with his servant. After his servant left the room, Shin Woon recalled his skill to watch all of the things that had happened. His skill was Shadow Whisper. In a week, they will assassinate him with help from his half-brother. Shin Woon decided to prepare for the assassination. He went to the grave to train his skill. He manages to summon a new high-level skeleton. Right now, he can summon five first-rate skeletons within a day. Shin Woon's got the perfect skill to train martial arts. But right now he just focuses on his necromancy ability. He went to the grave of the Zhnith undeads. The strongest swordsman in the history of the clan. Cloud-breaking swordmaster, Yuil Glang. Shin Woon tried to absorb the energy from the grave but failed. His skill wasn't high enough to do it. He decided to go back to his room and come again later. Suddenly, a skeleton summoning circle has been activated. The system pops up and informs him that the undead chose to follow him. The skeleton has been summoned. Shin Woon looks at the status window from the skeleton warrior. It has a high level of ability and skill. The skeleton walks straight to him and prays him. The skeleton warrior is trying to transfer his powerful skill to Shin Woon. Shin Woon was surprised by it and accepted it right away. A few days later, the Giam family sent out assassins to kill Shin Woon. Even Miho joined the assassination because she wanted to see Shin Woon suffer and beg for his life. They stop and talk about Jin Sang's plans. When they were about to continue moving, suddenly someone ambushed them. Many were killed in that attack. Nam Sang ordered them to use Ki while defending. Shin Woon was amazed by them. The assassin has suffered a few casualties. Nam Sang called the ambusher a coward and told him to show up. Shin Woon slowly emerged from the bushes. You call me a coward while on the way to assassinate me? They were shocked by the identity of the ambusher. Shin Woon confronts them by revealing their identities. Nam Seng told him that they were not doing an assassination but rather performing a secret mission given by the head of the Giam family. Miho ordered them to kill Shin Woon right away. Nam Seng was surprised that Shin Woon only came alone. He thinks that Shin Woon set up some device that attacked them. He was happy because it was easy to kill Shin Woon because he was alone. Nam Seng ordered his underling to attack him. Shin Woon used his skill to summon a bone spear and shoot them. They think Shin Woon might be using demonic arts because they're too powerful. 
Nam Sen goes into rage mode and wants to attack Shin Wun by himself. Suddenly, Shin Wun used his skill to summon his skeleton warrior. They were terrified by the undead. This is true demonic art. Nam Seng has never freezes in fear in his whole life. He told his underling to attack, and anyone who walks back will be killed by him. The fight between the undead and the assassin has begun. They are just wasting their lives. Nam Seng realizes that all of the skeletons are using the skills of Zhe Jing's first rate martial arts. He decided to attack Shin Wun, but he was attacked by the skeleton. The skeleton was the White Cloud Sword Master. Nam Seng regrets his actions and accepts his death. Because the last moment of his life has been entertaining. Shin Wun was impressed by his skeleton warrior skills. He summoned a skeleton from Nam Seng's dead body and turned it into his warrior. Shin Wun walked to Miho. She cannot move her body because of his skill, Shadow Bind. Miho tries to act innocent and promises Shin Wun that they can start over as lovers. Shin Wun was still impressed by her acting skill. He even mentioned her secret about capturing and torturing travelers. Miho wanted to kill him because he knew about her secret. She sprayed him with poison gas. Unfortunately, Shin Wun's poison resistance skill is already at rank B+. Shin Wun stabbed her throat with his finger to silent her. He really likes this world because he doesn't need to worry about the law. When he kills pieces of trash like her, he used his skill, hasten rot to kill her slowly and make her suffer. Shin Wun took something from her and left the fake evidence near her before leaving. His next target was his half-brother Jim Sang. 